Hey, what's going on YouTube? Tomasa 8 here with a quick overview of Windows 7. Now, Windows 7 has not been released yet. This is a release candidate. But what it means is this is basically what you're going to get when Windows 7 officially comes out October 22nd. So the first thing you're going to notice about Windows 7 is you have a completely new taskbar. What this taskbar allows you to do is pretty much pin your favorite programs, like such as Boost, pin it right in the taskbar, and bam. You have it right here for quicker access. Let me so let me just unpin this. Another neat feature is that let's say you have two of the same programs open at once. You can right now I have two Firefox open. So if I were to hover over the Firefox icon, I will get two screens. And now each screen will give me a different excuse me, every time I hover hover over a different screen, I will get a different view of the other Firefox. So that's pretty neat. Uh another cool feature is that uh, Windows 7 was made thinking about multitaskers. So let's say I were to be watching a video on this Firefox and I was working on a document at the same time. So all I had to do, all I have to do is pretty much drag this to the right, to the left, and let's say I have something else open, such as documents. So as you can see, I dragged Firefox to the left and it became smaller, and now I can drag this to the right, and bam. They're now equally sharing the screen, and I can write whatever I want over here while I'm watching a video over here. So that's that is a pretty neat feature. Um, another thing you'll notice is that Windows 7 is extremely snappy. It's, it, it's, it's way more snappier than Windows Vista was. Um, your performance will increase. If you have Windows Vista, you'll see a huge improvement performance-wise and graphic-wise, of course, um, in your computer. Games will run a lot faster, and everything just runs better. I mean, Windows 7 is officially the best, well, in my opinion, the best operating system out there. The reason I'm saying is because, okay, Snow Leopard is amazing. You're right, and it, it, it's pretty much part and part with, with Windows 7, but Windows 7 has some pretty neat features that Snow Leopard doesn't have. And, of course, Snow Leopard has some nice features that Windows 7 doesn't have either but um windows has a whole bunch of programs which mac doesn't mac has a very limited supply of programs and games um so I, you know i'm this video is gonna be quick windows 7 is by far the best operating system out there ever for windows of course the best windows operating system uh, I'm not gonna go Windows 7 versus Snow Leopard because you know that uh, I like both of them. I have both both of them, so whatever they're part and part because they're both fast and pretty much gorgeous. Look, pretty. Uh, excuse me, they're both pretty. Um, so yeah, Windows 7 is a no-brainer. You must upgrade to Windows 7 when it comes out. It's a no-brainer. It's gonna make your computer a whole lot faster. It's gonna make your computer seem like a brand new computer, guys. Um, and yeah, this is Windows 7, and you still have the arrow features. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, the tab. Let me see, like that. And yeah, there's there's a lot of little, a lot more little things that Windows 7 has to offer, but I'm not gonna like, really get into an in-depth view because this is not the official Windows 7, guys. But so far, it's a must buy, definitely. Um, it's pretty much flawless, and this is just a release candidate. So, you know, the, the official version must be even snappier and even better performance wise and probably graphic wise. Uh, one, one last thing another cool feature is that you're actually able to switch your desktop background on demand by just, by just right clicking on the desktop and clicking next background. So yeah, this is pretty cool, guys. Um, once again, Windows 7 is a must-get. So yeah, this was 10 8. Make sure to subscribe, comment, rate, 10 8. Out.